So we've already defined a buffer as a solution that has the ability to only slightly change its pH with the addition of acids and bases. And we're gonna find out that that only occurs in very specific conditions. When we defined a buffer, we said the reason why it's able to counteract the addition of acids and bases is because we're dealing with a weak acid equilibrium and we have the weak acid and that can react with any bases that we have. And then that weak acid also has a conjugate base in the equilibrium and that conjugate base can react with any acids. So if you think about it, if you really want your equilibrium to act as a buffer, you need to have a, a decent amount of the weak acid and a conjugate base. And what we're gonna look at now is when does that occur? So the basic definition is that weak acid equilibrium only acts as a buffer when the pH of the solution is plus or minus one of the pKa of the weak acid. And so this is an important idea that the Ka of the weak acid determines the pH of the buffer region. And so we have a wide variety of weak acids so we can make a, a defined decision on which weak acid we want to use depending on what pH that we want the, uh, our buffer to be. So if we look at acetic acid, we realize that the pKa of acetic acid is 4.74. Well, a weak acid uh, solution that contains its conjugate base, acetate, really only works as a buffer when the pH is plus or minus one of my pKa. So here, acetic acid really works as a buffer efficiently between the pHs of 3.74 and 5.74. So what happens in this specific region? So we've already said that in order for my weak acid equilibrium to act as a buffer, we need to have a significant amount of my weak acid and its conjugate base. So what we're gonna prove now that is that this is only true when the pH is very near the pKa. So if I look at my henderson hasselbalch equation and we go ahead and assume that our concentration of our conjugate base is equal to the concentration of our acids. So we have equal amounts of these two things. If we plug this idea into my henderson hasselbalch equation, conjugate base divided by acid is going to be one because they're equal to each other. Well, the log of one is equal to zero. And if we look at that, then the pH is equal to the pKa. So when the pH is equal to the pKa of my weak acid equilibrium, then that means we have equal amounts of my conjugate base and, and its um, acid. So this means that we have both of these species and no matter if I add in an acid or a base to my buffer solution, there's going to be a species there to counteract it. And this is only true um, when the pH is plus or minus one of the pKa. So the concentrations don't have to be equal to each other but we need to have significant amounts of both of these species. And this occurs when the pH of the solution is plus or minus one of the pKa.